After being my choice over the HTC U11, we decided to kick things up further. It's now going against Sony's own 4K HDR10 compliant flagship, the Xperia XZ Premium. Even with identical packaging, there is one major difference between the XZS and the XZ Premium's included accessories. Inside the box with the Xperia XZS itself are the following. A 3.5mm earbud headset, a 1mm USB Type-C to Type-A data and charging cable, and its 7.5W USB power adapter. On the Xperia XZ Premium's end though, we get a 13.5 USB power adapter. All things considered, the XZ Premium's package wins by having a theoretically faster charger which we'll get to later in the performance segment. Despite having the same general shape, holding both in each hand defines themselves. With the XZ Premium's more glassy feel and rounded sides, the XZS gives a more solid feel in hand without worrying too much about smudges. Up front, similarities are aplenty. The sides are where the similarities start to end. The roundedness and glossiness that the XZ Premiums have is more of a hit and miss than a functional one. What I find a bit off is the dual tray setup of the XZ Premium which some may find annoying. Also, the volume rocker on the XZ Premium is on top of the power slash fingerprint scanner button. A big plus for single-handed operation. Sufficient to say, the rest of the design puts the Premium on the XZ Premium which the back reinforces further. The sensors and LED flash array are what differs on the top side, despite having the same cameras. The other notable difference is the small portion that is separated from the bottom part of the rear face of the Xperia XZS. Even though I generally hate glass finishes, the XZ Premium's finish is superb, save for the 90 degree edges. With both having basically the same display technology, the Xperia XZ Premium's one of many superb features is its 4K HDR10 compliant display. And unlike the Z5 Premium Selective 4K activation, the XZ Premium's 5.46 inch display is always on 4K, may it be upscaled or native. In running 3D applications or games though, it does run them at 1080p then upscales them to 4K. Since both do run the same Xperia home version, this ends with a tie despite with the XZ Premium being faster. And before we get to the benchmark results, here is a table of the phone's specs. With the XZ Premium's pack being larger by 330mAh, it wasn't much of a surprise that it lasted longer than the XZS's despite having a 4K display. Here is a quick rundown of each phone's cameras. Yes, they're identical on all fronts save for the focusing technology used, making the XZ Premium is the one with the better cameras by a slight margin. Even with the XZ Premium significantly wider stereo grills, the max volume on both the XZS and XZ Premium is the same. Not to mention, clarity and flexibility are pretty much the same even with the KZZS3s. Yeah. 
tallying the results, the Sony Xperia XZ Premium gets 5 points and the Sony Xperia XZS gets none at all. With the advent of XZ1's arrival and launch here in Philippines, which I hope is really soon, the XZ Premium proves that it deserves the premium moniker by being the most dominant over its siblings and cousins. How about you? Are you for the more budget-friendly XZS or the end-all-be-all XZ Premium? Let us know in the comments below.